Hey there, parents. Today, I want to dive into something pretty important and close to the heart. Why a non-political person like myself might decide to attend a political rally about a book like Gender Queer in grade schools. Now, I don't usually get involved in political activities, but sometimes you just feel so strongly about something that you can't stay on the sidelines. For me, that moment came when my child brought home a copy of Gender Queer from school. At first, I had no idea what the book was about. I mean, it's just a book, right? But after reading it myself, I felt a deep sense of discomfort with some of its content. As a parent, I think it's crucial to make sure the material our kids are exposed to is suitable for their age and developmental stage. I started talking to other parents and educators about it. You know, just trying to gauge their opinions. Some agreed with me wholeheartedly, while others felt that the book was an essential resource for discussing gender identity. This difference in opinions really opened my eyes to how complex and passionate this issue is on both sides. That's when I decided to attend the rally. I wanted my concerns to be heard, but more importantly, I wanted to connect with others who felt the same way. Sharing my personal story at the rally wasn't just about protesting. It was about contributing to the conversation and trying to address these concerns in a constructive manner. Even though I'm not usually involved in political matters, I felt this was an issue worth taking a stand on. My goal wasn't just to voice my concerns, but to encourage a meaningful dialogue about how best to handle sensitive topics in education. You see, sharing personal stories can be deeply impactful. It allows us to connect our individual experiences with broader social or political issues. It raises awareness, fosters empathy, and can even influence policy and public opinion. For example, Sharing my discomfort with the book helped me understand that I wasn't alone in my concerns. It also empowered me to take action, to find a sense of purpose in my experience, and to contribute to advocacy for change. At the end of the day, my hope is to create a space for broader conversations about important issues, to challenge misconceptions, promote empathy, and encourage others to think more deeply about what our kids are learning. So why would a non-political person like me attend a political rally? Because sometimes the issues touch us so personally that we can't help but get involved. Because every voice counts, and because real change often starts with a single heartfelt story. Thanks for listening, and let's keep the dialogue going. Take care.